Hello, and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We got some more Super Auto Pets for you today. There was another update, and I made a custom pack. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, or right now, I made a custom pack. It's got buy, sell, synergies, and then some summons to back it up. I probably missed an important animal or 10, but hey, it happens. Here's some of the changes. Koala got some extra tax works one time per turn before battle. So to me, that was a little ambiguous. I played a little bit offline. I didn't know if it would work one time before battle, and that's it, and doesn't work in battle or it works unlimited in battle, but from the small testing that I saw, it works unlimitedly in battle. Unlimitedly, I'm pretty sure that's a word. Anyway, here's the buy-sell thing. There's going to be a shrimp, there might be a starfish, and then we'll lose. Uh, let's see how we're doing. Okay, a duck. Sounds like an easy first purchase. An otter to buff that. Sounds pretty good. A duckling for future. Buffing sounds great. We got a lot of health up things, such as the duckling. And the duck. Also, the duckling's now a duckling and not a baby duck, so that's interesting. So I put some bacon and other attack foods in here. I figure, you know, why not? We got some cells. Okay, we got a lot of stuff. We have some interesting... Uh, we're going to be the rolling others. I don't know if that's from the TV show Lost, but who knows. Let's see what we do here. Okay, it's going to be a serious loss, but that's all right. Who would have expected a pig at the front? Not me. That duck would have stood up against anything else except that pig, so that's upsetting. Uh, I mean, I guess they want us to go duckling, so sure, doesn't do much for us right now, but when we sell them, it's going to be crazy, and if, and now that the duckling is leftmost shop, we can freeze something, and it'll be the leftmost next turn. Which of these do we want to freeze? Nothing. Is there anything worth saving? Also, there's a little bit of strawberry in here, just because I had to... I added the kiwi, so I added the strawberry, and then maybe two or three other pets. There's not a ton of strawberry stuff. Let's freeze a great unit to have extra health. Okay, it's all the same crap, because it's just tier 1. I mean, you have the most attack, so maybe it'll be a 3... 8. It'd be interesting, that's for sure. It would have been nice to see another duck as well, because ducks are cool, sometimes. Alright, let's see what we're going to do here. It looks like an easy win, but then again, I don't know how to add, subtract, and multiply. And now that I've said that, it's an easy loss for us. But that's alright, we get strong later... We haven't sold any of the cell triggers, obviously. You know, it's not our time to shine just yet. But how about now? A stork is interesting. What if we had a stork with a lot of health? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell this otter. I'm going to buy the beaver. And sell the ducklings. You get a super healthy stork, which I think is interesting. Buy two, because you can. A koala, so it gives 1-1 one, one in the shop. And if something, so let's say our stork was attacked by a free attack unit, uh, then the koala would buff it after, and then, you know, continue to do that. So a koala in the back makes sense, assuming we have enough health to uh, take extra hits, etc. Probably didn't explain that well, but sorry about that. These aren't really jiving with me. Okay, this bacon still froze. Maybe not the best idea anymore. Let's see what happens. Hopefully the koala works out. Hopefully they don't have an 8 attack mosquito. Let's see what happens. Okay, they got a 2 attack. And they're, they're shooting our koala. Okay, so we get buffed. It's, it's like the koala turns any animal into a hippo. Because it gets the stats back after getting hit. You know what I mean? So the koala in that regard is great. Because what did it do? It buffed the stork, uh, I don't know how many times. Again, I don't know how to add, subtract, and multiply. But it looked like at least 4 times. So that was pretty cool. I'm okay purchasing... Actually, this duck is obviously a little blasé. We'll send it out of here. We'll buff you for the health. In case they have a bigger iguana, especially. That's a great uh, thing. We could put the storks together and purchase some other things, but then we're stuck with a beaver. So that'd be odd, in my opinion. We could attack up the stork. Not that it needs it, essentially, but maybe. Uh, let's roll another stork. How interesting. I'm now okay selling the beaver and hopefully buffing this stork. Great. How about the other two? And we could do an otter purchase. Okay. Not what I expected. And honestly, hear me out. We're going to bacon this big guy, right? So he might kill something, which is good or not for the koala buff. I don't know. Maybe you want to keep like a weaker unit alive to hit the stork and like buff him up. I, I don't know. I don't know how to, again. Anyway. Well, that didn't really have a great impact here. We're going to get some summons. We're going to have our own summons. It's probably going to be a loss. 
or it could be a good old uh, loss, in my opinion. How about that? But you can see what kind of strategy we're going to go in. We don't even have the shrimp, so that's pretty crazy. We have the starfish, we have some cell triggers. I think it's time to combine. Okay, we got an ant eater. That's part of the summon strategy, but also does fine all on its own. So we could do a starfish, an owl, and if we sold it, then we wouldn't have five units, etc. So for now, we can do uh, this. But obviously, we'll sell the owl soon. The starfish will start buffing people. You'll start buffing people. It'll be incredible, in my opinion. There's basically no way this can go badly, except for this exact turn, where it probably will go pretty badly. You have a cell trigger. You have a cell trigger, as odd as it is. Garlic on our stork makes us get more koala buffs in the long run. Perhaps? Think about it. Again, I've never had a 10 win with a custom pack, so... Okay, this is very bad. Is that one unit going to kill our whole team? Maybe. Actually, maybe not. Wait, we killed our whole, whole team. Okay, that one unit killed our whole team. Well, we almost had him. And obviously, you know, there's, there's variants. Not everything's going to work out this well, if you can call it that. Okay, let's sell you... You're buffing, you're buffing. That's A-OK -okay by me. We sell you. That's a buff, that's a gold. Okay, we buy this. Easy. The Yak is in the pack, in case we want to... No, wait, not the Yak. The Buffalo is in the pack, in case we want to do a buy-sell method that away. And the second one doesn't have the sell trigger, so we just get the gold. I think this is important. And we can do a quick buy-sell. I mean, you have a sell trigger, you don't do anything. And you buff a crab. I guess we do that, you get buffed, and I, I guess we buy the 3-3. Three, three. I mean, it's got the best stats, and then it'll get 5 more or 5 total. Again, I'm still not sure, but this will finally answer my question. We'll go to 8 or 5. It's a good question. Okay, they got a large... Okay, so it's just copy 50%. Now we know. They got a large jellyfish. I just want to put that out there. We will get through it, and the rest of their team isn't that scary, especially with our buffed koala in the back. I think it's our obvious... Uh, it's obviously we're going to win here. It's pretty obvious. And it's only our second win. I know that's, that's a true statement, but what if we never lost? Wouldn't that be interesting? Okay, you buff strawberries. So you're not the coolest thing in the world. A platypus would be cool, but then we need to get rid of the... Anteater. And I'm okay with that. He got one of the buffs from the owl or something, I think. But getting three cell triggers for free sounds pretty cool. No, don't buff the... Don't, don't do that. Also, let's roll. Let's see an animal we actually want to buy. Are we going to be an all-stork team? I don't know how that would work out. Probably not well. Good. At least it didn't buff the beaver. I have expected it to. Okay, so we could buy... We could sell this, but again, there's no strawberries. We could buy some storks. I mean, this is a big stork. I like a big stork. Who doesn't? I'm okay putting them on the team, right? Might be a wrong decision. Maybe we should can first. I don't know. And is there anything worth... Not really. Okay. Well, we could combine and put a turtle somewhere. How about you go here, right? And you go here to protect our koala investment. This is probably pretty bad. But, you know, every team, every synergy, every pack, it's a work in progress. So I don't feel terrible with what happened. We got a great old large uh, animal here. Okay, you're going to be... Okay, well, that's that's good for us. We're going to kill their elephant. Wait, they have two elephants. They killed our stork. We got a monkey. We killed this. We killed their elephant. It's an easy win. You're smacking your koala for some unknown reason. He doesn't buff himself, and our koalas... Just imagine if we had a level 2 koala. We'd be gaining health on some of these attacks. Uh, maybe. I don't really know. How to tell time. Uh, add the stork in here. If we summon a level 3, tier 3, that thing's going to be like uh, 2020 all on its own. Maybe. And let's see. We got the pill for the blobfish. It's now a before faint instead of faint. Still not sure the difference on that. And I, I refuse to ever know. Okay, you got a good cell. The crow has a cell too. I guess we should have done that. And luckily we got a crow anyway. But we're going to be stuck with... A turtle, if we purchase this chocolate. What's more important, a level 3 stork or a level 2 koala? I think the answer is obvious. Or we get a turkey. Friend summon, give it 2-3. Well, we don't have too much summoning on our team. Maybe none, you could say. So, 
Yikes. Do we turtle the starfish or do we turtle the turtle? Because you got garlic. And a friend has to get hurt. And it's only turn 8. I don't expect anybody to have 20 attack, though it's possible, especially with the salamander existing. So we'll do this. It's not the coolest build, and I'm not, you know, in love with the turtles. But for now, it's something. Okay, we're gonna get... Okay, we got weakness. That's not good. We're buffing the... You're buffing the... Okay, the, you're alive. That's great. You're soon to be dead. Are we gonna kill that thing? No. Oh, that's bad. Might lose here. Oh, we got a large uh, kangaroo. Not that it has that much health. And it's actually got pretty bad stats for level 3. Something bad happened. You're telling me. We lost the damn game. Something bad happened. You don't think I got eyes? Anyway. Did they change the way the stork drops out? Uh, no, the kangaroo just has crap-based stats. So it came out as a 3-6 or whatever. Can you, um... Can I play the game? Set a refresh on that. Let's see what happens. So... We definitely have some possible uh, synergies, for sure. Other people have a lot of other hurt synergies and stuff. That's cool. Good for them. Let's hop back in and try it again. Or we could continue. Oh, do we got to watch our death again? It was actually, like, really... Uh, it's actually a really quick... Uh, not a quick one at all, so let's speed it up. They, I mean, because they got the hurt triggers, they got the throws. We already know we lost. It's kind of... This is actually kind of degrading. I'm actually pretty upset that this happened. Uh, team would. I won't be sending my monthly uh, donation now. Right, let's go back to arena mode. Let's change this back to 100. Okay, what do we got? We can have a strawberry build, but who are we buffing? Doesn't make any sense, does it? Okay, let's just buy these three and call it a day. I'll freeze a strawberry, not that I want to. More ducks in their own way. We can be the legendary astronauts that fake the moon landing. Incredible. I still believe it. I still believe they faked it. Just kidding. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Alright, they got a tough... This is going to be a tough one, for sure. This three health unit is going to take out our units, and then we basically lose. It's pretty cool. Right? More ducks. We could sell a duckling to buff a duckling. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I would buy a duck. I would purchase a strawberry. And honestly, I would buy another duck. I'd sell this. I would roll. Oh gosh. Uh huh. I mean, we freeze the duck for level up purposes, obviously. Strawberries, I don't think they're going anywhere too fast. They're just something to help us in the very beginning, honestly. And because I need another tier 4 or 5 pet, the seagull's in there too. Let's see. I mean, this is going to be tough. They got the summons. Okay, we, we outbalance them there. Okay, it's an easy win. Despite me saying it was going to be tough. But what do I know? Not much, obviously. Okay. Guinea pig. Not too interesting. Let's put these two together. Summon a tamarind monkey. Emperor tamarind. I'm okay with uh, purchasing that as a 2-4 in and of itself. That's A-OK. -okay. The shrimp is in town. So let's sell you. Get an omega 2-5 shrimp. Okay. And then, next turn, we just start selling whatever. And get rid of the kiwi. We could put a croissant on somebody. You have a sell trigger. Okay, everything goes well. We buff the monkey, maybe? We pull out something later that has a great monkey enhanced stat line? Let's see, I don't know. What happens here? Okay, it's gonna be... I don't know, they got two shrimp? It could be super powerful. We could lose this one uh, really easily. In fact, we did. And I'm ashamed to admit it, but it's true. Okay. Oh, those are some nice cells. Okay, here's what we're going to do. You're sold. So you get stats. Somebody gets health. Sadly, the bird, when it's probably the next to go. Uh, do we do this? Do we, do, we, do we run a duck as our flagship animal? None of it really makes sense to turn tier 1 or 2, because they don't have like super combat abilities. So a duck's fine. Why not at this point? So take one of these. Sell me one of these. Okay, get a mouse. You sell it. Buy an otter. Free apple goes to the tamarind. And I suppose we buy a pig and sell it next turn. That's a fine buy-sell or purchase all on its own. You're a buy-sell in ways we can never understand. Just imagine if we had a starfish and a shrimp at the same time. People would be... 
they'd have 20 health. It'd be crazy. I think there's no way we lose this one. I haven't looked at the stats. Why is your elephant 1-9? Why are two of my enemies' animals dead? I always say enemies. I don't know why. Okay, this is going to be an odd win, but I'll take it 100% of the time. You've seen me. I'll take any win I can get. They're rare enough. Okay, so you're a cell. Don't buff the otter. You're a cell. Buff whoever you want. It's a shame he can't buff himself. He's a great part of the team, and yet he's never recognized for it. An owl's an easy buy, sell. An otter could buff our shrimp, as I buy a beaver. So there's that. Okay, there we go. A little bit of this. I guess it would have made sense to put the uh, croissant on you, because then you'd get more attack for whoever you're selling for. Okay, so this is a sell. We got seven gold. A camel with a lot of health. He could be a permanent team member. A garlic. Looks interesting. Let's buy a camel. And a... Stork. And who do we buff with the monkey? Not another monkey, because then... That's stat. The degradation. Redefined, I'll tell you that. Okay, so again, we have two great units, maybe. And... That's all we got right now, but we're building for the future. What happened to that frog? It's going to smack our duck out of town, which I'm pretty upset about. Okay, they got a large... This is going to be... Oh, that's that's sad. Wait, why is our camel in the back? Oh, the seahorse moved it, of course. All right. A snail. Interesting. The stork's out, for obvious reasons. We buy the snail. Okay. We give you this. I think we have to... No, because then we only have three after that. It's a shame you're frozen, because we could buff somebody, but then we got to wait. Uh, okay. Hand me a marmoset. Because then when we sell it, we get the roll for free. Nothing absolutely fantastic here, sadly. But we are able to roll for free. Okay, we could buy the owl and sell it. That's true. This monkey's still being frozen. Not my favorite thing. I gotta put it on the team. And next turn, maybe we can... Well, then we'll have the owl frozen. Well, then we deal with it later. But maybe next turn, and at tier 4, we can find something to sell the monkey into. I'm thinking a... Actually, I don't even know what. So, whatever works. Okay, I was gonna say we're gonna live, but then this guy got buffed. So we both died. At least that thing died one hit. You know, the high health uh, Emperor Tamron brings it home. It's pretty good. Okay, we could buff a yak, or a buff... Why do I keep wanting to call it a yak? I don't know. And I'm really sorry for that forbidden knowledge. Uh, okay, so we do this. You buff... You. And you. If we bought a buffalo, then we'd have to get rid of the duck or something. Because then we'd need, you know, a spot to sell and buy for. Or we get rid of the shrimp. Maybe I stick with the shrimp too long term. It's done great for us. Obviously, this has a uh, 20 health. But you don't do anything besides gain stats. So if you have stats and you gain stats, it makes more sense to give the monkey to a kangaroo or something. So capitalize on the additional stats or a camel so it can live longer to buff a kangaroo. Or something like that. Or am I crazy? What if we rolled? This isn't very good. Okay, get rid of the shrimp. Sell you. Okay, so we're going to move up here. And we need something on the team. So here's some sheep. This is probably terrible. I'm not a great... I'm not the greatest strategical mine. I've never claimed to be. Let's just put it out there. Okay. So we might have a chance against these guys that they did kill our shrimp. Okay, stop hurting my shrimp. Okay, we're buffing. We're buffing. Okay, we got a chance here. We got 13 attack. Perfect. I knew we could do it. I knew we could do it. Okay, you're out for obvious reasons. So we could buff. I mean, you're f fine to stay in back. So what if this was our frontliner, right? So this hits the camel. That's pretty good. Close enough. This hits the camel, guaranteed. Well then, I mean, a croissant could go on a kangaroo, that's for sure. 
There's nothing saying it can't. Maybe we freeze it, though, so we can actually buy another animal. Gee, uh, what animal should I buy from the shop? I don't know. How about an anteater? And then we can freeze some and get more anteaters in the future. Why not? Very odd. I thought it was another anteater. It's a kangaroo, which is actually pretty good. We could buff the anteaters. I don't know if that's required. And then we have ants buffing our duck, which is a, a fair unit all on its own. So we'll see. They don't have honey on their badger, which is great. We have snipe them. We're going to live through two hits here. That's pretty cool. And then you've got 11 health, so it's an easy defeat. Okay, all right. Things are... Things aren't working out, but things are shaping up. Five wins? I haven't had five wins in years on this game. So let's can. So you guys are super buffed. White Tiger, make one friend behind level three, except other White Tigers. Right. So what would that do? You would gain better stuff, but then you'd have a White Tiger in front of you instead of a Camel. An Anteater's already level two. It doesn't really do too much. I mean, it could work with the Eagle on it all on its own. We could get rid of the duck and the dolphin and get a tiger eagle. What do you think? And the porcupine, I thought if we had like high health stuff, porcupine, he could do a lot of like spike damage to whoever. Um, but we don't really have a shrimp or starfish getting us to high health right now. We've got some in combat scaling. I'm okay. I'm okay with this, you know? I'm okay with uh, what we talked about selling the dolphin. And the duck next shop, and maybe trying some stuff. Okay, this is pretty bad. I know our camel needs to get better, and that's the reason we're going to lose this thing. Why is this blobfish super buffed? I don't know. Okay, sick. I mean, barely. That would have been a nice tie if our duck was too health higher or something. But oh well. Okay, thanks for everything, and you're going to buff some health. I don't mind it. An eagle. Wait, Tiger, should we sell and buy this guy? For two gold, it's four stats, why not, right? It'll hit somebody useful. Never mind, it hit the eagle. Just kidding. Super useful. Okay, and then we could just do this. Try to build up our uh, media empire. Let's see, a pig, not too much. Another camel could be interesting. If we chocolate a camel, vulture, we don't have that many summons, but we do have an anteater. And an eagle, which does summon. Okay, what if we got rid of the camel? Put the... Obviously for next turn. But then again, we're on one health, so maybe we have to make the desperate plays right now. So we're going to summon a level 3 tier 6. Who's in tier 6? These animals here. So they might come out with a certain uh, amount of health, right? Plus the eagle trigger alone on the kangaroo. Oh, but then you, then the ant buffs wouldn't really work out. I, I buy this too much. I buy too many left and right pets, and then I can't have them in a certain way. I hate it. And I hate myself. All right. I mean, the one ant will buff the other ant. If, if that can't do the job, then what is going to do the job? Am I right? But if we get rid of the camel for a vulture, assuming we live, which we might not, let's see what happens. That's a large... Okay. Well, our ant eaters are already failing. Let's see, you're going to be one health off here, which I hate, but we got melon armor, which is great, and it wasn't supposed to rhyme, and we're level 3, so we're going to get triple melon armor. Okay. Reindeer's not even in the pack, is it? Did I add reindeer? I guess I added reindeer. That was that was a clutch reindeer. Reindeer is in the pack, okay. That was a clutch reindeer. We, we didn't deserve that at all. Okay. Who do we pepper? We can pepper an eagle, which gives the kangaroo another trigger, guaranteed. And then we level it up, right? It's going to be a super unit. Reindeer is in the pack. Maybe there's two in the shop. What if we put a reindeer in front of the kangaroo? Or we could just bank on the eagle always summoning a reindeer, which I know is uh, unlikely. But that's all right. Maybe the kangaroo deserves that for once in his life. Or a pepper. Stegosaurus could buff somebody. But we don't really have that kind of team going. I don't know if this is ever going to work out. I don't know why I froze half the shop and then unfroze it, okay? I don't have any answers. I've never gotten a tier 6 before. Ever. They got a tiger. This is going to be tough. Okay, they they weakness our pepper, which I'm pretty upset about. But we got a 24 health orca. That's going to be buffing the cheese. 
out of our uh, kangaroo. You know what I'm saying? But what the hell? What are we summoning? Oh, that was the or that was the orca summon, which is actually okay. And then there's a hold on. Yo, does anybody know what's going on? Because I don't. I'll tell you that. But our uh, our vulture is popping off. Our kangaroo is popping off. You summoned a turkey. That's cute. You're dead. I love killing a summoning team, especially after they overwrote my pepper. If we lose this one, I'm a-okay with just having that uh, that win under our belt. That was incredible. Okay, we can turn two pets level three, so you'll be gaining even more stats because you'll be getting six six. Uh, a tiger. I mean, it's great, but I don't know if we have room. We already have too many. Sin okay. Uh, pepper's good. Maybe we put pepper on the kangaroo. I think we do that, just so it doesn't get, uh, killed in one hit. Which is kind of the point of pepper. And we got pear pears fine. It's not the greatest food these days, but it's totally good. Okay, they got a cheesy, uh, guy there. Hold on, they got melon. Oh, they got a stegosaurus, which is interesting. Our pepper worked wonders. And we died to an ant, which is pretty sad. Tiger doesn't have the most health, but we did survive one hit, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna break melon. We're gonna live with pepper. Okay, I think I think we win this one. I haven't done all the math. Then again, they have popcorn, which we're gonna kill and then win with. There. Okay. We're going pretty. We're going pretty well here. I finally buy this ant eater. It's been six hundred years. Might as well. And who are we buffing? You could honestly use more health or whatever. Popcorn could work due to the fact that we have a vulture. Uh, kangaroo, we don't really need because you're going to be level 3. More attack seems fine in the future. Koala could work, but again, where do we put it? So I'm okay pretty much buying food and same animals from here. We have an odd team, but I like it. Oh, they have a melon, reindeer, obviously. Okay, we, we might come out with a great tier 3 here. Let's see. It's just a tiger, never mind. There's no other... Okay, we survive with one health, that's great. They survive with one health, no they don't. I don't think we're going to have the, enough snipes here. Even with the weakness on our side. Actually, is it a draw? Oh my god. We had exactly the right snipes to make it a draw. Thanks for weakening your whole team, by the way. Okay, so we put something on you. Anything helps, right? We purchase you, I guess. We roll. And a pepper on the tiger could mean something. Or we pepper the vulture so it doesn't get dolphin at this point. I think that's the safer play. I would have liked more. And an orc obviously works at times. Actually, if if we if you level up and summon more, is that what you do? Yes, yeah, so you summon three random pets. So the eagle summoning an orca is actually losing us an orca pet. But that's all right. Because, I mean, what the hell else are we going to do? Put the vulture up front. That doesn't make any damn sense. I like our team. It's, uh, I always I always make a whatever pack with a something extra kicker, and the kicker always ends up being my main thing. I don't know why. We're dead here, guaranteed. I mean, look how many 50-50s they got. Maybe. We're probably dead here. Okay, that's a steak. That's nice. That's a nice one there. And did I say we survived with one health that last time? That was obviously the pepper at work. Okay, let's see. These two are going to kill the... Okay, if, can we snipe the monkey down? And then... No? Okay. If we snipe the monkey at any point... We would have been okay for a draw. I'm happy with that. We actually made it pretty far, um, and, th and that was pretty good. I'm happy. I'm happy with that showing. It's re encouraged me to love the game once again. But that'll do it for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a dislike if you hated. Subscribe if you want to see more. We're doing a live stream Tuesday the 26th, which should be today. So check that out. And if you missed it, it's probably on the channel somewhere. So check it out if you missed it and you're watching this in the future. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Have a great day. Farewell. Goodbye. And see ya.